Hey guys. What are you all doing? We are planning how we can make some money for the poor. Look. Uh-huh. The kids who collect the maximum money will receive a trophy. Oh, I know of someone who can help us. Who is that? We must leave for Sherwood Forest, now. Sherwood Forest? Jack, is this one of your pranks? Trust me, it isn't. John, how are you? Mm -mm. <laughs> Hi, Jack. I am good. What are you doing here? My friends and I want to collect money to help the poor. So I thought maybe you and your friend could help us. Robin Hood? Yes, Robin Hood, the hooded thief. Huh? We can't steal money. Stealing is bad. <laughs> Robin Hood steals the money from the rich, who collect the money from the poor in the form of unfair taxes. What? I don't get it. It's simple. Huh? Prince John and his men collect a lot of money in the taxes from the poor people and give it to the rich people. So in this way, the poor become poorer and the rich become richer. Robin Hood here takes the money from the rich and gives it to the poor to help them. Oh! Ow. Prince John is cruel. There he comes, the man himself. Huh? Hood. My name is Sugar, and these are my friends, Jack, Joe, and June. We want to help the poor by collecting money for them. And after hearing about what you do, we think you can help us. I am always ready to help the poor. <gasps> the sheriff has come to know that you are behind stealing the money. And he wants to catch you and take you to Prince John. For this reason, the sheriff has announced an archery competition. And the whole of Nottingham knows who the best archer is. The man who wins the competition gets a reward in the form of a kiss from the maiden Marion. We won't go to the competition. Oh, little John, you worry too much. We can go to the competition by disguising ourselves. No one will realize. <laughs> Robin Hood is pretty smart. <laughs> oh boy, archery. Can we come along too? Sure.
That is Robin Hood! Guards! Catch that man! Leave him or else the sheriff is as good as dead. While Robin Hood was showing off his archery skills, I managed to collect a sack of money. You were so brave and clever, Little John. Yes, thank God no one was hurt. Here you go, Sugar. Uh-huh. I hope it helps some poor people. <gasps> Robin Hood, Prince Richard is back. He wants to see you. Who is Prince Richard now? I've heard of him. He is very generous. He helps the poor. He had left for the Crusades and handed over his throne to Prince John, his brother. Oh, but does he want to punish Robin Hood? We won't let that happen. <sighs> Let's go and find out. Robin Hood, I have heard a lot about you. I even heard what happened at the archery competition. I must say, you are an example of kindness. The way you did things wasn't right, but you did it for a good purpose. For this, I shall reward you with 1,000 gold coins. Thank you, your majesty. I am so ashamed of my brother. I have put him in jail. Would you like to work with me, Robin Hood? Uh, of course, your majesty. But I should first go and distribute the gold to the poor. Uh. Congratulations on your new job. Thank you, my dear friends. I hope to see you all around again. Sure thing! One hundred seventeen, one hundred eighteen, one hundred nineteen, and two hundred. June, we have collected two hundred gold coins. That's awesome! All thanks to Robin Hood. Ahem. <clears throat> Don't I receive some credit? Thanks, Jack. We shall give you some candies. Oh, 
Me too, please. <laughs> yes, yes, you too, Joe. Jack, come on in. I've some work for you. Jack, I have an idea. Why don't you go with your friends and sell the cow? We have no money to feed her the fodder, and she won't be of any use unless fed. Go to the market and sell her. Okay, mother. I shall go with June. Joe and Sugar to sell the cow. Hey guys. Huh? Would you like to come with me to the market? I need to sell my cow. Why would you want to sell your cow? We have no money to buy the fodder. And without fodder, she won't give any milk. So mom thinks it's best to sell her at a good price. I think I know someone who would be willing to buy your cow, Jack. That's awesome, Sugar. Let's go. Where are you all off to, children? Who are you? And why should we tell you? <laughs> yes, Mom says not to talk to strangers. Are you even from this village? <laughs> you kids are funny. Uh? But I was looking at this cow. Is it yours? Yes, it is mine. Do you want it? Hmm. What are you asking in return for it? What can you afford? I shall give you these five magical beans in exchange for your cow. Five beans for a cow? Are you serious? How much are those beans for? <laughs> they are not just the usual beans. These are magical beans. Once you plant them, they grow and reach the sky overnight. You mean to say this bean will grow into a stalk and reach the sky? Yes, and if it doesn't, you can take your cow back. Maybe, Jack, you should take the bean. Mom! Mom! See what I got? What is it? I sold the cow to a man for these magical beans. Are you insane? You sold a cow for five silly beans? We already don't have enough money, and now you sold our only cow for these beans? But Mom, they are magical beans. Go to your room, Jack. I shall think of another way. But they won't get us any money or food. Jack! 
Jack! Hey, Jack. This wasn't here before, right? Huh? Don't tell me it was the beans. Hey, guys. Yes, it was the beans. Mom threw it out of the window in anger last night. And when I woke up this morning, there was this beanstalk. This is super cool. Those beans were magical for real. I wonder how it would feel to go right up. Why don't you climb it? We are anyway off to school right now. See you in the evening. Seems like an awesome idea. Bye, you guys. See you later. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll have his bones to grind my bread. from the magical beans. There was a castle up in the sky, and the ugly giant had these. Oh my god, you are totally crazy. You climbed up the beanstalk and ran away from a giant? I must keep an eye on you. Chill, Mom, I am fine. I am just happy that I could make you smile. You won't believe what happened today. I climbed up the beanstalk. 
went to a castle in the sky, ran away from a giant, and got a sack of gold from Mother. But calm down. We don't understand what you're saying. I'm saying that when I climbed the beanstalk and reached the top, there was a castle up there. I sneaked inside and saw a giant. I got so scared. When the giant went back to sleep, I took his sack of gold and ran back down. Now Mom and I are super happy. <gasps> that sounds adventurous. Can we come with you the next time? Yes, I want to be between the clouds. You can go inside the castle while we wait outside. Sure, we shall go tomorrow as you all have a holiday. I won't be able to join you guys. My whole family is invited to a wedding in the capital for the weekend. It's my father's auntie's daughter's first cousin. We are close, so I must go. It's all right, June. We will let you know everything once you return. Mm -hmm. giant is awake or sleeping. As soon as I sense danger, you'll hear a noise of something falling down. You'll start climbing down. Done, partner. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll have his bones to grind my blood. Bring me my hand. Lay the golden egg. <laughs> Come on, guys. See this magical hen? <clears throat> Lay the golden egg. Ha <laughs> ha. I told 
told you. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll have his bones to grind my bread. <laughs> there you are! You took my sack of gold in my hand, and now you want my heart? Come here! I shall gobble you up! really scared for you. I should have told you not to be so greedy and stopped you from going up there. I'm all right, Mom. And yes, I did get a little greedy. But I promise not to go up there ever again. Yes, well, <laughs> we have enough money now. Let's go and buy some cows and start milking again. That's a great idea, Mom. Gretel. We are lost and looking for our way back home. By any chance, have you guys seen a small wooden house by the river? Hmm. You guys are very far from home. What are you doing this far from home? Hey, don't you worry now, Gretel. We will drop you to home. We just need to find the old witch's house made of candy, get the ancient recipe, and we will be on our way in no time. The old witch? She tried to eat us. But she's dead now. What? what? Whoa! How did this happen? It's a long story. Let's get your recipe. I will tell everything on the way.
We live outside the large woods with our dad and stepmother. Dad goes to town to sell the wood, but it's not enough to break bread every day. Stepmother doesn't care for anyone else rather than herself. Four weeks ago, me and Gretel were playing outside the house. But then, we heard loud voices started coming from the house. We don't have enough bread for everyone. How will we survive like this? <sighs> I don't know. I just want everyone to be happy. Do you? I certainly am not happy. Are you? I do all I can. Tell me what you want to do. I will do it if it makes you happy. Hmm. <laughs> I will tell you what we can do. We can leave your kids in the deep forest. No! Anything but that! How can you ever think of that? Then we will all die of hunger. Is that what you want? <laughs> Tomorrow, I will take your kids to the deep forest. I will tell them I need help gathering wood. When they get tired and fall asleep, I will come back home and leave them there. <laughs> but wild animals will eat them alive! <laughs> That's their fate. <laughs> Don't you cry, little sister. Everything will be all right. What will become of us? What will we do now? Oh, don't you worry. I will think of something. Children, come inside and take your bread. For the last time, you little rats. <laughs> Here, this is all we have for dinner today. Go to your room and eat. Yes, yes mother. mother. we can do about it. Hansel, aren't you going to eat your bread? No, I have an idea. Hurry up. We need to go to the forest and get wood. Isn't Dad coming along? No, your father is sick.
children. You must be tired after all that walk. Why don't you take some rest while I collect wood? Yes, Mother. Cry, little sister. I have left a trail of breadcrumbs back to home. Let's look for it. We will be home in no time. Find a place to stay. yourself. Sorry, ma'am. Me and my sister were lost and were very hungry. And when we saw your house made up of candy, we couldn't stop ourselves. You sound like a lovely little boy. Come here. you come inside my house and eat whatever you like. You can always leave in the morning.
out your finger so that I may feel whether you are getting some pearls and gold because we think mother and father will be happy and we don't have to worry about food ever again. I am so impressed. You guys are very brave. the ship. In the meantime, me and June will get the recipe. <coughs> it smells so bad in here. Jack, there! the location of your house, we'll be there in no time. We have the recipe! Let's go, guys! Mother would like us back. I am sure everything will be fine. Guys, we have reached!
kids! Join the adventure of Sugar and Friends!